The Attorney General's office will be taking the lead in a special investigation into police involvement in an illegal brothel that was run by Songja Cha. Cha was sentenced to life in prison for bringing young girls from Chuk to Guam and then forcing them to work as prostitutes without compensation. During the trial last year, testimony was provided by two workers who said police officers would frequent the bar and in one employee also named two officers she saw as Tony and Mario. Up until last week, the police department and the attorney general's office had done nothing to pursue leads into the allegations. But with pressure from Adeloupe Chief of Police Fred Berdalio well, announced the creation of a special jobs, investigation team. That should there be any uh, 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 information that surfaces on some officers uh, um, being directly involved in the uh, uh, Blue House investigation the Attorney General discloses, then uh, there's going to be some, of course, uh, uh, serious uh, actions, adverse actions, because it's also administrative disciplinary action that's needed. The investigation will also focus on police officer David Manila, who admitted to paying to have sex with one of the workers and the role he may have played in telling the workers that they were not allowed to leave until they had repaid their debt to Cha. Attorney General Leonardo Rapatis says the GPD officers will work in collaboration with his AG investigators instead of conducting two separate investigations. Anytime that people lose confidence in their law enforcement officials, um, that, that's not a good thing. So we will take, we will go where the evidence takes us. So I want to assure the public that, that uh, we will be working with the chief, with his, with his officers, my investigators, uh, our, our prosecutors, and we will go where the evidence takes us. Nobody's above the law, and uh, the Attorney General and I agree that any police officer who tarnishes the badge, who's involved in any corruption, will be prosecuted to the extent of the law. Rapatas could not say why his office had not conducted an investigation into the allegations sooner. We, uh, at this point, um, actual investigations. As far as I know, the investigations that we were doing were in relation to the prostitution case that we have currently filed with um, in Superior Court. Cha is set to go to trial next month on local charges of aggravated assault, assault and felonious restraint. Rapatis says he will also meet with U.S. Attorney Alicia Limtiaco in the next few days, adding he's been assured that they will receive full cooperation from her office and federal agencies who were involved in the investigations surrounding the federal case. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Nick Delgado.